folks, it's Tim McClellan, Birdie Biofuel. I wanted to show you around our latest creation. This is a field to fuel mobile biodiesel processor, a one of a kind unit developed by Verdi Biofuel. Now this is the actual side of the trailer that is used as a classroom. You'll notice right here, we've got a couple of logos on the side of the trailer. The first one here closest to me is for Southeastern Community College. Uh, they're the ones that commissioned the building of this trailer. And they received funding through, via a grant from North Carolina Tobacco Trust Fund Commission. And the mission of these two groups together is to be able to reach out to the farmers who used to grow tobacco as a cash crop to find alternative ways to use their fields. This unique bio trailer is a combination of a mobile biodiesel processor as well as a classroom. This is a chemistry classroom right here where we can teach the process of taking feedstocks such as soybeans and turning them into biodiesel. One of the things we have built into this unit that I don't see come standard with, I don't think any other unit, and you can test me on this, is that we actually have outlets that are built in so that when you need to plug in extra units, say you need a space heater or something, we've got outlets built in throughout this trailer. And that's a nice little touch that you won't find anywhere else. Also, this trailer comes standard with a built-in still where we actually reclaim the methanol from the biodiesel process, from the glycerin. Whenever we have glycerin waste, it's loaded with methanol. We're able to reclaim the methanol from this glycerin via our still and put it back into our methanol tank. What I have here is an automated fire suppression system. If I leave this trailer to go and, and, and go pick up some parts or get some oil and it's closed up and should a fire break loose in here, this suppression system will automatically put it out. Fire gone. Now I'm standing in front of what is the actual reaction tank. This is the processor as well as the pot steel. You'll see the sticker on here. This is a stainless steel tank. It's made out of stainless steel and all the valves and all the piping and plumbing is stainless steel as well. This is where the actual transesterification takes place. Now I want to go over a few other unique things that are that are I haven't seen anywhere else. You do your homework. You see if you can find them out there. We have a built-in pot still that comes out of here. We use the same heaters that are inside the reaction tank to then distill and recapture the methanol. And you'll notice back here where it says the still condenser that this is actually where the distillation takes place. Once the methanol is put into a vapor form and it runs over this copper tubing, it actually recondenses into a liquid inside that radiator, that condenser. Another thing that's unique to our processors, again, it's all stainless steel, the valves are stainless steel. You'll notice that these valves are numbered and labeled. Of course, this is so that you know which ones to turn on and off as you're going through the process. But another unique feature, which I can't speak more highly of, I can't mention it enough, the fact that all of the valves are oriented in the same direction. You won't find that on any other processor. You'll see some where the valves are on the top here and on the side here and they're, they're located how they fit around. We've engineered and designed, our lead engineer has come up with a method where all of the valves are oriented in the same direction. This does a couple of things for you. One, if you're hungry and you want to run and get a sandwich, you can take a quick peek inside here and you know, hey, all the valves are off, they're all up. If you see one of them that's down like this, oh, hey, I better turn that off before I go grab a bite to eat. Now the heating elements inside the reaction tank, as well as all the motors and pumps, are controlled here at the control panel. I know that's a no-brainer when it has a sign on there that says control panel. It's obviously the control panel. This is a semi-automated control panel. There's some things here that are unique to Verde Biofuel and Verde Bio Trailers. These are spring-wound switches so that you can come in here and set your timer one hour and you can go off and you can take care of the business, move this around, go get some, uh, some uh, more soybeans, whatever you got to do to keep the process going. And this timer will run for one hour and, and take care of whatever batch you've got. Also, you'll notice there's a little light above each one of these, which indicates that this one's on. So you can, you can take a peek in the trailer and make sure that whichever one's supposed to be on is on. 
Another thing is that the heating elements inside the reaction tank are run by these PIDs. These are actually the, the controllers for the heating elements in order to run the still for reclamation of the methanol as well as for heating the oil for the reaction itself. Another uh, feature that is in this particular trailer for the, the college in North Carolina is the fact that we're doing both a wet wash, a water wash, and a dry wash. So what we're doing is we're taking the methyl ester out of the reaction tank and we're transferring it over here where it is actually being scrubbed, it's being washed with water in order to clean the methyl ester to get the remaining methanol and the remaining glycerin and whatever particulates may still be in there out. So the water being heavier than the methyl ester than the oil, the water will sink and the methyl ester will ride on top. And you drain off the water and then you have a clean biodiesel in here. This has a chemical dry wash where it's actually forced through chemical uh, pellets in here that will scrub the remaining biodiesel into ASTM grade perfectly clean biodiesel, premium grade stuff. Now this trailer is scaled down. It's not a large production trailer. We at Verde Biofuel will make a bio trailer to meet your needs. We'll make them up to a thousand gallons a day should you need that. This particular unit, unit is designed and engineered more towards the education than it is towards the production of fuel. So what you're seeing are small tanks around me. This is, is the nature of this particular mobile classroom. Now, to point out again, this comes with everything you need to turn soybeans or reclaimed grease into premium biodiesel. Everything you need. It has fire suppression. It has finished walls, finished ceiling, finished floor. It has stainless steel reaction tanks. It has all the stainless steel valves. It's got a control panel that is exclusive to Verde Biofuel. This one comes with the labels on the wall. It has the lights in it. This trailer comes with everything, including the kitchen sink. Let me talk to you a little bit about the benefits of mobile technology, the mobile processor, the self-contained unit that we're looking at here. The first thing you got to consider is that when you get a mobile unit, it doesn't fall under the same restrictive codes for the building inspector or for fire inspector or for town ordinances that a built-in unit does. If you're going to build a unit into your shed or into a garage or into a storage unit, you've got to consider all of the implications involved in that, which we don't have to with a mobile unit. Let's suppose you put it in your garage and you're bringing in refried grease from restaurants and there's a certain odor that comes with that free fried grease, that, that, that used restaurant grease, your wife is going to be a little upset with you, to say the least, that the garage smells so bad. Here, we've got a self-contained unit. Boom, button it up. Everything stays, all the smells stay inside of this unit right here. Another point, let's say you're making a batch and you, and you get called away or something happens and a spill takes place. If you have a spill inside this unit, you hook up, you drive it down to the car wash, you get the pressure washer, and you take care of your spill. Let me see you do that in your garage. Won't happen. There's another benefit to this. The fact is, this can be brought to the job site. You can relocate this wherever you need to be making fuel. You can't do that with a built-in unit. Another option with this one that you won't find with a built-in is the fact that suppose I've got this unit and my company's doing good and we're growing and I want to get a bigger unit. I want to make more fuel, which happens all the time when people get into the biodiesel is they want to make more and more. Once they get the taste of it, the gold fever, they want to keep making more, more. Well, you build in a unit, you put the whole contraption in your garage, you start going, you're loving it, you want to make more fuel. You've got to tear everything out and put the bigger unit in. Here, put this on eBay. Say, hey, come on, hook up and buy my unit. I got a bigger one coming. Folks, I want you to do your homework. I want you to educate yourself. The due diligence necessary. Go online, do your homework, look around, shop. Shop the world. See what's out there in the way of mobile biodiesel processors or built-in processors. And then look us up online. Our website is www.vertibiofuel.com.